for stemmatics, uh, I had rheumatoid arthritis. The uh, COPD was progressively getting worse. The COPD was hard to breathe, and I had uh, difficulty going to many places. Uh, the problem was that if you, I couldn't walk very far because I actually couldn't breathe. You know, I'd always have to go a little ways and then sit down and catch my breath. And then I could get up and go some more. And that was a problem. I was using several uh, medications. It was deteriorating to the point where for me to walk from one end of a hotel to another, uh, I pretty much had to stop and rest and catch my breath. I heard about stem cell treatment here uh, in, in Texas. There was a, a uh, chiropractic company, company in Pearland, Texas that was, was really advertising heavily. Actually, they put on a little school and told you all about it, how it worked and piqued my interest in it for me to go do it. I was a little bit hesitant. Uh, the story that I was getting from them was, well, anybody can just come in and they can, and we uh, give you the stem cell treatment. And it's a short process. Actually, I interviewed probably six or seven companies, uh, some in Houston and one in Atlanta. One of, the, one of the companies that I interviewed with was Stemetics. And the difference with Stemetics and the other companies that I interviewed with, that I interviewed was uh, the fact that Stemetics did a complete background physical. Uh, they just, they didn't actually do a physical, but they checked my medical records to be certain that I had no gross or any problems and they wanted to be certain that I was a candidate for stem cell treatment and they were the only company that did that. The other uh, providers that I talked to just said well stop by well uh, you know make an appointment and, and just do the procedure first thing I did was I got them all my records and then they found uh, something in one of my lungs so I had to go back and I did uh, a second CAT scan to be certain that that was not going to be a problem. The hotel was a very nice hotel. They uh, provided transportation. Actually somebody from Stematics would pick me up, take me to the physician's office where the procedure was done. They uh, took me to all the, the, to the events. First, they put you in an oxygen lung to oxygenate your body. A couple of days after that, they actually uh, did the injection for the stem cells for, to treat the rheumatoid arthritis. And then, uh, after that, I put on a breathing device where they injected the stem cells into the lungs. I would breathe them into the lungs, and that was the end of it. I actually came home, and the, there was some benefit right away. About a year later, then I started really getting some benefit from it. The benefit uh, was better. The, uh, and I rationalized that what the stem cells do is they cause body tissue to grow. And body tissue does not grow overnight. Things are going in the right direction. Instead of having one uh, injection of medicine a week, I now, for the rheumatoid arthritis, I have uh, one injection a month. As far as the breathing, instead of having, using two medicines, I now use one. But with the COPD, I get tested. I take breathing tests about every, well, about every six months. 
the breathing has in, has improved, and I get along much better. I don't have to worry about where I'm going or what I'm doing, and I don't have to carry a bunch of stuff with me. Before, if I went to the grocery store and there wasn't a parking spot n n nearly next to the door, I would just go on and come back at a time when there would be. Uh, now I, I don't have that problem anymore. I'm just able to do more things than, than I could before. Uh, I do plan on going back to work, uh, but I have not yet started, so I'll interview with a couple of other companies. It's uh, not like I absolutely need to work anyway. My seeking employment is more to have something to do than for the financial benefits. I really never had any hobbies to begin with. Uh, but I do get out more and I go around more and I go more places and do more things. I plan to move back to Florida, that's a journey. Uh, a year ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that physically. So there is, there is some benefit. As a, as a person, uh, I've always been very independent and I've always taken care and done everything myself. Uh, whatever I needed to do, I did it. And now that I'm 80 years old, uh, I'm able to do more than I could do five years ago. I'm, uh, a lot of the limitations have, are gone.